Alright, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Magic A Plays Something video. As you can see, we are in Minecraft in a slightly more developed, so it seems, uh, world around here. That's because I'm actually playing on the Elo Das server. Um, so, that's why things are a little bit more, just a little more uh, fancy than usual. Um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to... Uh, kind of explain what's not only going on right now here in the game, but also what's been going on in real life. Um, so as many of you may or may not know, I got a new job, and uh, it was pretty exciting. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, for recording sake, it took away a lot of my free time. I've been working a lot of overtime, you know, I'm a university student trying to put myself through school, and uh, this job is taking a lot of my time at home away um, so things just kinda got hectic and the uh, whole aspect of recording was put into the back seat um, and as for what I'm doing right now I was actually playing on the server last night oh man I'm out of food um, last night and uh, working on my mob trap here and I uh, well, I'll show it to you. What happens is there were pistons here and over there. What happens is the mobs spawn upstairs, drop down here. And I'll take this and I'll shift it back and forth really quick and all the items drop through into the water flow where I'm really only caring about the iron. So um, down here, all the iron stuff, because of hardcore buoyancy, um, everything falls down and kind of pops up and over, except for the niter and uh, all iron stuff. So that's the main focus of that. Anyway, so last night I was on, I was playing, I got the, the whole yeah. thing completely... F oh, a scroll. Hello, Papa. Okay, and pick up everything else why not. Okay. Um, and that happened. I uh, I took out the floor because I wanted to flip over those half slabs, flip them over, so that I might ooh, nice um, flip them over so that uh, the uh, dragon orb dragon orbs might be able to actually fall through because they were just kind of bouncing around. Um, and a creeper fell down into the water, and as I was busy trying to smack him and kill him, uh, he jumped up out of the water the exact time that he exploded so he was not in the water when he exploded and he completely obliterated the bottom end of my trap there uh, so that was a, a big disappointment for me I got really mad and uh, decided to screw it I've spent too much time on this tonight and went to bed kinda mad uh, so yeah right now I'm thinking I'm gonna go back there I know the general design of how I had it, I know how I want to have it, so it shouldn't take too long. Damn, I gotta make more food? Um, it shouldn't take too long to, uh, rebuild the entire thing. Let's say, hardy stew. We need potatoes, carrots. Excuse oh, I'm sorry if this is boring, but maybe somewhere in between here I'll give a tour of my. Oops. Backspace. There we go. Okay. Potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, bowls. Potatoes, carrots. Uh, let's see this stuff too. Do I have any mushrooms? No, oh, I do. Okay, good stuff. Let's pick out a whole bunch. Throw everything in a cauldron. And meats, right? Some kind of meats. Let's do steak. Because I know mystery meat doesn't work. It would be funny to have some uh, Steve stew, but unfortunately mystery meat does not work. So, Put our rec I'm working on a recipe book list, so I'm really excited for that. There we go. Hearty stew. That's what I'm looking for. Put down there. Reorganize a bit. Um, so yeah, I have to redo a few things. 10 bowls, 15 I suppose I have now, should be plenty. Um, I have to redo the bottom end, so that's 
pretty well just uh, shifting platforms. As I saw when we went down there, the little redstone line was pulsing. So, um, let's see. Um, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are these two different types of pistons? What is going on? There we go. Alright, that seems to fix it. Okay. I've uh, got some stuffs. Gearbox. Don't really need the hoppers. Right. And a torch. Alright. Oh, and since we don't need those guys anymore. Um, so with any luck, this'll be a uh, quick fix. And if you do see lag, that's not so much my computer as my network connection. Um, I'm still quite unfortunately playing at home on our oh so splendiferous um, internet connection that's actually really really terrible. So uh, it's 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 a hard life. Oh, such a hard life for poor Magic Gay. Damn. Wait, can I just break one of those apart, or do I have to melt it? No, yeah, I have to melt it. Okay. Gotta remake our Matok because those things. Sure, you can stay there. Those things are wonderful. Um, yeah, so a little bit of a word on the Edel Das server. I have been playing this server for a, an extremely long time. I think. I think. It's coming on three years now. It, it it has been, like I said, a very long, long time. And of course, I have no bloody coal. Look at that! I, I jump on to do one thing. This is always what happens. You jump on, and say, "Okay, I'm going to do X," and it turns out you never do it. You always end up doing a bunch of other stuff. Now I know we can take our coal, grind it up, and make nether coal out of it, but uh, I'm not really interested in that right now. I'm interested in getting going on our on my mob trap because it would be nice to have the huge amount of iron that that thing produces. It was unreal. The first night I turned it on, I I really wasn't sure what to expect. I went AFK for a little while, and uh, wish shabam. Next thing I know, I had uh, just over a half stack of it was like 42 pieces of iron after everything had all been smelted out. It was unreal how fast this thing produces goodies. Um, and I suppose I also need to put in a hopper. I'm doing really basic uh, stuff in this world. Not very, very automated, um, as you can see by my various devices I have around, which I may just show later. Um, but I, I like the feeling of not just having everything, you know, going and automatically smelting and then being put into my uh, into my chest here. You know, I like I like to go over to my different machines like my uh, stone maker and my sheep farm which is actually really cool I love my sheep farm um, you know go around rather than having everything automated just say oh I need some wool it's nice to be able to go and go out there and just uh, shear the sheepies that I need and I have a lot of crap everywhere so beautiful though. Me to there. Oh. And okay. I think after this, where are those sticks? Oh wait, no, they weren't supposed to go in that chest. <sighs> now I've been playing this world for so long, and I am still so terribly unorganized. Alright. 
I'm set now. Food, got a new matok, and a bunch of torches. And I'm sorry to anyone that doesn't like the way I say matok, but matok, matok. It, 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 it just it rolled off my tongue that way the first time, and I've enjoyed saying it as matok each time. So, let's let's fix this machine. Let's get another scroll. Oh my. Okay. Because there's all sorts of crap down there. Stand over in this corner. And for those of you that don't know, if you go into your inventory and you hover your mouse over something, you can press Q and it'll eject the item, so to say. Um, and if you go Control Q, it uh, it ejects the entire stack that you're holding your mouse over. And quickie. Just fill up our inventory so we don't have to deal with too much crap around. Let's see, I want pistons. Let's throw them in place first. So this block I'm standing on top is pretty much where they go. And I'm hungry. I actually have to think. Wow, this is amazing. I've not been doing a lot of thinking lately. Come on, get out of the way, creeper. Oh, no, I don't need you to activate yet. Yeah. Oh, shit, actually. See, this is this thing. Because I have a water flow down there. And that means that it is, in fact, possible for the mobs to survive the drop and then they can explode and murderize everything which makes magic a mad which is no good at all <laughs> um now I need you one back further back further there alright this fix is turning out to be a lot more simple thankfully uh, let's get some redstone down there on to our bar. These guys come around. I needed torches because I ran out yesterday. Um, I had this as little solid blocks overhead because I was having trouble. I can't put a block there or else it just disrupts the whole way my water flow works. So in order to power the pistons, can't put it on top, can I? No. Okay. Um, in order to power the pistons, I had to, uh, yeah, those pistons over there, I had to have the blocks on top. Um, so yeah, quick rundown of what happens is we have a, our power source for mechanical, mechanical power, which goes up into this turntable, yeah. which is a very reliable clock. That redstone torch, you can see, spins around, which triggers more lights, more lights, um, triggers this redstone line here, which jumps into this fancy device, you'll see that when this line powers on, it produces a very, very fast one tick, two tick, I think, no, yeah, two tick pulse, no, wait, I have it set to one tick, so if we go there, it should be zero tick, meaning the redstone pulse won't get through, see? If we go one more, that's one tick, if we go another, that would be two ticks, now what this does is it when we put our redstone there, it'll make those pistons fire very quickly, pushing the half slabs our way. And then I have a slight delay of three ticks come around, which activates these pistons, which pushes them back. And you can see all of our goodies go down into our... I can't get down there. Um, whoops, come on. Um, go down here, stuff we don't want just kind of floats over. Now you can see there's, oh, a sword and stuff. Oh, I've been having uh, creepers and stuff slime spawn back there. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately we do get niter from this, which I don't really want, but I'm sure I can figure out a way to filter it out up there and then force it to go down here into the lava, which I need. Can I do it? Ooh, just barely. There we go. Safety measures. So, you can't 
accidentally die while going down there. And so yeah, definitely. I love building mob traps. It is one of the many things that Minecraft has always appealed to me about, but by far one of the largest. Um, so yeah, since that looks pretty well done, I don't really care about getting dragon orbs or anything like that. We have an ender ender farm here, and I'm planning on upgrading the herd of skeleton. Um, I'm planning on upgrading the current one we have. Just gotta close this in. So all this stuff goes down, not all the other ways around. Man, that creeper really made a mess. Like I said, what happened is I decided to uh, see the XP orbs are falling down now. Mostly, I believe. Yeah, see, they're still jumping. What, ha what was happening before is um, they were all staying down there. And so at least now I can filter some of them out into the lava, which helps with lag issues. Because if you're going to be playing on a server, your creations must be kind. And by that I mean not like destroy the server with lag. This, uh, this setup I have here isn't too bad, and I should actually probably slow it down one more tick just because it's kind of going fast. One more tick on the turntable, so that'll slow it right down. So you see when this thing... Oh, Wisp! Hello! Wisp. Smiles. Recording an episode. Don't curse too loudly. Now! Winky face! Excellent! Um, so yeah. I rage quit last night because this whole thing exploded pretty well. What did he say? He said hello. Excellent. Um, yeah. So I should now be gathering iron. And unfortunately that uh, matter as well, but whatevs. We can burn it. Did I not get that last shovel? Okay, what can we drop? I don't need that in my inventory. Alright. Let's get out of here. I'm happy with that. Make sure it's all lit up, actually, first before we run away. Off into the distance. So prior to this being my cave, uh, we had a guy named Harriet HT on the server. And uh, he, uh, he asked me, oh, Magic A, do you want to help me find somewhere to live? And it's like, okay. So we found him a place to live, and then it was a pretty cool one right beside a village and everything and I helped him make his portal to link up and I was like, man, this place is actually really cool. So I was like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna move in with you. He's like, okay, well, we're gonna build a castle over this uh, village. So that's what we did. And uh, so this whole complex, big, ginormous dugout area here is the work of our wonderful Mr. Harriet HT. And uh, he's since left the server. Oh, bloody slimes. You can hear there's lava and scary stuff around here. And stuff always spawns. And of course, with this bloody underground fog, you can't see much. I should probably go grab that pair of ender ocular, ocular devices. Oh! See, this will happen occasionally where what happens is the exact moment that something falls uh... excuse me, the exact moment that something um... yeah, something falls the uh... pistons will go ch -ch -ch. and uh... what we're left with is a falling entity and this floor uh... i don't know what i'd call it i suppose i don't, I don't even know what i could call it but uh... It allows entities, item entities, and um, dragon orb ent entities, so any sort of entities, to fall through it most of the time. Um, and so when they fall exactly at the right moment, they manage to fall through the floor, because there's one moment when they're flipping back and forth that the blocks are no longer solid. So that trick allows me to 
have all of my wonderful baddies fall down, die almost instantaneously. Also, this fall is... Um, come here, bat. I need your bat wings. Um, this fall is... Uh, further falls than what would kill a 20 heart person. That's because zombies can spawn with up to a maximum of, well, full armor, except in game code it's only 18% armor. So what that means is uh, they can take 18% resistance on injury, if that makes any sense at all. So it's kind of like they have 18% more health per hit. Um, and so the way I made it is I just added on those extra few drops, and so the hit or the fall will kill a fully armored zombie. And that's because uh, I don't know if enchants work on armor for zombies. Actually, I should check that out. Because if there's a chance of a zombie falling with fully decked out protection for armor, I know I've had a few chest pieces through with protection for. Um, it will manage to survive. Damn, I didn't think about that. I thought I was being so clever. Okay, well anyways, let's clean up my inventory and uh, take a tour of the base. And I think that's going to be all for today. Um, one thing about the... Oh, excuse me. Uh, one thing about the future. Um, I will be starting back at university. Uh, Part-time student and working the other part-time. Uh, so that means that, quite hopefully, um, on my school days, I'll have more time than usual uh, to maybe spend messing around in Minecraft. I know that we haven't played the uh, we haven't played the single-player world in a long, long, long time, um, and I kind of forget where we left off. I believe we were out hunting for a village for the wheat so we can make the cows go. Uh, sexy fun time so that I could get to a level of food that I am extremely happy with because that's one of my things oh no the over world one or the nether one um ah oh, my train of thought is gone being like so dis easily distracted by things is a blissful curse. Stupid slimes. My base is right on top of some slime chunks. So I have so many slime balls. I, n I need something to do with them. It's just throwing them on the ground now is slowly not becoming adequate. But yeah, look at all. Look at all my pretties. Lots of. Oh, and we have a full. Haste beacon and uh, level 1 soul forge steel beacon, which I'm working to get more levels on. Um, still hasn't answered my question. So yeah, tour the base. Woo! Okay, so first, these these here are the grand stairs, the main stairs, where you come down into the base. You say hello, and uh, if you're ever around, make sure to open this book and read, you know. Got some nice guests that came in here. I love seeing people drop by my base. Uh, down there, strip mines, pretty boring. Standard stuff. Garbage disposal. Now, I said I've been playing this world for th almost two and a half, three years now. Uh, that's back before Hardcore Bucket, so there's a lava source down there. You chuck stuff. Uh, you saw back here, I had my storage room, which nothing. Nothing too special, just a lot of overflow and even more empty chests. I'm actually... that's all nether brick, obsidian... wait, no, oh, that's blackstone, right. Yeah, I went hardcore in the nether there. I'm working to make a uh, uh, mage tower in this server, and I'll show you guys the awesomeness upstairs. These are all furnaces, back when you know, furnaces were actually useful. This here I said earlier was my stone machine. Uh, how it works is right in behind here we have... I don't want to break it but I don't want to... oh here. I'll do it manually. We have water comes in and lava falls down so it does create regular stone. And so the idea is um, 
one day I went to a creative world and I figured out the perfect timing that stone is made by the water and lava and then we have a bunch of block dispensers and a buddy block at the end. Uh, buddy block outputs upwards which makes another one of those one ticker majobbers. Um, monostable circuit I think they call it, I can't remember. Anyways, then it's inverted and then thrown over these guys so if we turn it on it starts a clock downstairs which activates the piston that was just there and uh, it's actually pretty quick at uh, making them. So the reason that these uh, whatchamajobber things um, only eat is because when it turns on, it tries to put out a block, but since there's a block in front of it, it cannot. So when it shuts off again, it eats the block in front of it. Uh, thus creating a situation where it only eats the blocks in front. So I'll just leave that run while we head downstairs, take a peek. So our lever turns on that torch, redstone line, down here. Uh, another one of those one ticker things with this guy eats and takes out that piece of redstone. So we turn it on, this guy places the piece of redstone, and then the one ticker majigger makes a one tick pulse which goes around this clock. When we want to shut it off, this guy will eat that piece of redstone uh, pretty well shutting off our clock. So we want to turn it on. There we go. And lots of stone. See? Look. I don't remember how much we had before, but I think it was a lot less than a and a stack of it. Uh, I showed you guys my sheep farm, just a big grass area. Also, um, underneath the stairs here, I have grass blocks, and so if the sheep do manage to eat every single grass block out here, I have some seeds, so to say, underneath there that will uh, do the rest of the blocks. Oh boy. Slimes are extremely dangerous, especially on a terrible internet connection. Because when my internet, if and when my internet lags, and there's a bunch of big slimes around, I am instantly flogged. Like, I have died so many times because these stupid things have just lag run into me. But the funny thing is, is I can get them in the lava. Silly slams. What you do? What you do? Um, yeah. So that was that half of the bo that half of the uh, base, and then over here we have a Moomoo cow farm, which is automatically fed wheat. So I can come in here, slaughter everybody, and it is a mushroom farm. Got some nice mycelium. Um, why mushrooms? Because them udders give me lots and lots of mushroom stew. Get these guys out of the way. Come on, scram! Get! Get away from my door. Um, oops, there we go. So that's all the mushroom farm over there. And over here we have our little tree farm, which is one of the very first things I built way back when oak trees were fun. And so I have uh, just run in here with an axe, and again, underneath these stairs, I have grass. So if I decide to say not plant the trees again, uh, the, the dirt turns nicely into grass and I can enjoy a nice little green room. That's enough of that place. And the reason I have piston doors on these things now is because there's been three times now. I used to have just trap doors and uh, fence gates, but uh, zombies got a lot smarter and now they uh, they break the doors and stuff and get in there. So also another thing I'm really proud of is uh, close your eyes. Don't look. Don't look. Just, just keep them closed. It's okay. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing at all. There we go. Okay, what it used to be, you can open your eyes again, is there's just a hallway here, you know, around the corner. Whoops. Uh, around the corner here we got our other side of the base. It's just a big loop. And down here, this mess of redstone, was a uh, a door control and it was the coolest thing ever. See what happened is in this corner I have a minecart. So I push in the corner and the minecart activates 
piston door. Now what was supposed to happen, the redstone update broke this door utterly and completely, is the thing would push all the way up, which it does successfully, but then these two blocks here are supposed to be pulled back down to the floor. And when the door was open, you could see absolutely zero redstone. See, there's a few pistons up there. Um, so you'd have a nice two stones here. This doorway would actually be one higher. And then uh, when I push this button here, or hit the cart again, it'll close the door. So now we can see some redstone, those being these pistons. Push it again, and the door will open. And yes, that is the Zelda tune of a magical secret doorway opening. And uh, here was my brewing station. Back when, again, Hardcore Buckets was not around, I could make all my different potions. So let's say I want a uh, potion of swiftness. I think those, no, those are gone now. Uh, okay, regeneration. So I'd say, okay, uh, let's make it longer. I suppose that's off. So let's turn off splash, keep it uncorrupt. Let's make it longer and increase the potency of a regeneration potion. I'm going to drop all of the objects that I needed. Come over here, pick them up, get my glass bottles, load up a uh, potion of regeneration, where I could start brewing them. And then what happens is the witch wart is uh, better than Wolves Edition. That thing makes the potion last longer. Glowstone Dust is just your basic potency upgrade, so it goes from uh, Regen 1 to a Regen 2. Um, and then a Ghast Tear, which turns your Awkward Potions into Regeneration Potions. So I'm actually just gonna move these two guys down there for now. And run away. So yeah, that was my door that Mojang broke, and it was really cool. Here's my old bedroom, back when uh, Steve was able to rest and my awesome exercise machine you know got gotta gotta keep up to gotta keep my body ready ready to work this is my kitchen just a recent addition so I got my collagens on the floor there's from this corner to this corner underneath is all lit nether racks so these are always on I suppose you could say they're always bubbling and burping away um, let's throw some more potatoes. Almost out of potatoes. I'm going to need to plant potatoes. And of course, one of the highlights of my base is this awesome ravine. Which, the ceiling, I kind of almost left dark. This is because I have light just below this block, I think. And so it spills up in there. But yeah, it looks really cool because you can't, because of hardcore darkness, you can't see up. I still have to light up down there, but you can see all the way along, and it just kind of looks like it goes up and on forever. Um, around this corner, we're back in another and different ravine. So these are two ravines running parallel. Over here is my main workshop. Uh, in here is the other ravine, you can see. The end of the other ravine, and nothing really up here, just the top of my old skeleton Oh shit, this thing's still on. I should probably turn that off because I've got a much better trap now. Um, I used to use this thing for XP. Oh, guy. Um, I used to use this thing for XP, so what happens is the skeletons come along. You can hear them. There's a lava blade up there. Their goodies drop. The uh, uh, items fall over. And it looks like the dragon orbs got stuck on that axle back there. Um, yeah, dragon orbs go through this hopper filled with soul sand, and in the end, everything goes down, 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 down to here, where I was able to come by and pick up all my goodies and stuff. And so also, because the skeleton farm is right here, I got a lot of shitty bows and rotten arrows. And so, uh, soul urns. What I'd do is toss a soul urn onto the plate there, it would spawn a ghast, and I'd have a little archery range. Except now, my mob trap output comes right down there, and I'm not willing to change it anytime soon. So I'm going to move my room over that many blocks. I'm going to move my room over that many blocks. I'm just going to have a little window here and kind of snipe them from the sides. 
That way, both can be happy, and then also I can have entrance to my uh, mob farm right there. Uh, so let's turn that. Um, I don't know how to turn it off. Who knows? A while ago, Wisp traded a bunch of gold for a er no, a ch double chest full of vine traps for three sheep. Um, because he lives in a tree fort base, and um, he didn't have any sheep, and with the way these things were working, where no animals spawned in already regenerated chunks, uh, it was a little bit, little bit difficult. But we got him. Anyways, so I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm gonna black it out because through this door. Is a secret entrance which nobody can know about. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, just got out of the uh, secret passage, which is which is totally not in this in this well because on the bottom, hands off spacebar, and we're not falling down any, so it can't be down there. Um, <laughs> Yes! Anyways, where were we? This is the village that I created. Well, I didn't create. Minecraft created it. I turned it into a castle area. That's my, that's my current mage tower. It's really boring. It's got one beacon shooting out of the top. That's our soul forge steel beacon. Um, all the villagers have unfortunately died. I don't know why. They just don't live in this place ever. Um, yeah, so we got our fortune beacon, salt forge steel beacon. Um, a lot of remodeling had been done on this place. It used to be a big hill over there, and it came down a little bit further, and there's kind of plains over there where we flattened it all out, kept all the original buildings, made doors everywhere back when that was a thing. So we kind of have these little Need an itty bitty apartments, which the villagers seem to hate. Um, don't know why actually, but I know they didn't like them. Um, yeah, and so we got our castle, which is extremely bare. Um, we used to have an actual castle thing, but I turned it into my mob trap. So that is now all of the spawning space, and it goes down about 30 blocks, I believe. Um, they're those 3x3 three three spawning pads with the half slab in the middle. Um, and then vine traps all around so that the mobs just walk on to the traps and uh, die. Die a horribly painful death. Let's see if I can... Nope, this is inside the wall. Don't want to be inside the wall. Maybe I just... Uh, yeah, see, it's, there's a bunch of those little things. There's nine per layer, so there's three, that, three of these sets that way and three that way, so there's nine in total. Lots and lots of spawning space. Up here is to the top of my mage tower. I actually have an iron beacon down there, which I'm thinking about relocating or turning into my soul forge steel beacon, um, depending on ease of access to the actual beacon itself, because apparently I just went... Oh shit. I, I wear no armor in this, in this on Elo Das, by the way, so... When I fall, I die. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can hear, we have uh, another mage tower, and upstairs, our beacon. Our beacon used to come through this enchanting book, and then upstairs, is ceiling. It's actually a really, really cool effect. So, yeah, that's my mage tower. Took me a little while to build because, as you know, it's all made out of cobble. Again, man, poor Wisp just falling and dying. I laugh at him. There we go. Um, yes, this was all built pre horribly hard to get everything days, so I had plenty of iron picks and all that. Um, and we have little guard watchtowers, which I want to put. <laughs> I want to put netherrack in the middle for a little flame. Um, 
and good luck upon our great, 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 great village. Um, and over there we have uh, the windmill that I entered for the the last competition. Um, I think Wisp is going to win because he made an amazingly huge and awesome. <laughs> Oops. Oh, poor Wisp. Um, yeah, I think he's going to win because mine looks pretty. It's functional, but his is huge and awesome. And it's got a lot of hard to get blocks on it. So it's definitely a lot more work than I put into mine. I think the hardest to obtain block I threw in mine was, uh, the hardest to obtain block on my windmill was most definitely the, uh, the spruce wood. Just because I don't have a lot of my bits. Working on one at my lowest key! Exclamation point. Uh, so yeah, that's that's mostly my entire base over here. Back when we were retrofitting the village, we had a shop, which is just a room with a bunch of chests. And now if we go up into the attic, we have more storage, and down to the cellar. This was a wall, <laughs> a wall of nothing. And I don't know if this works anymore, but you run up your head, you know, keep pretending to walk up the ladder that, wait for that to close, and jump. Ah, it does. So now we're in behind a bar. Um, and I don't think I had a way to get out again. Yeah. Really useful to run away from people. And then this was the tavern. Villagers love to hang out in here. Just kind of underground, on the side of a dirt wall. It's a very, very shady place. Not summer youths and limited children. This was a recent add-on as well. This used to be a little house that I retrofitted into a little grinding station that actually doesn't work at all. You can see this. What? What's up with that? Ah. There. No? Okay, fine. There we go. Yeah, no use whatsoever. Just a little pretty aesthetic things. And if we go outside, I built this door. The villagers cannot escape. See, there's pass slabs and stairs there. Push this button, that drops down, and then comes back up. And we look for a nice jaunt outside in a wonderful day like this, which... Thank god I lit up this entire area. We don't get too many spawns close to base. Um, fancy my jump. Oh, I left it on. Hell, it gets pretty loud in here. And as well, my building next to me too. I've been working on collection this. Um, goes up there to the windmill, comes down, there stones. And I was going purely aesthetic things on this. And you're supposed to have a wooden pressure plate there. So when you walk in, click, and then the door closes. And you walk out, click, and the door opens. Except wooden doors now no longer re react to redstone, so unfortunately that's gone. Yeah, I, I really like my windmill. I was going to build a little farming on the roster. I was to build a little farming community around here. Also, when Harriet left, before he left, he decided to move out of the castle. And he was making a giant cube. So, I'm close enough that renders in. Um, yeah. And lit up the entire land. And over here, on the other side of the castle, we have the flatlands which used to be a jungle. Oh yeah, man. I went all out when lighting up. Even underwater is lit up. This place is wonderful. And each one is spaced an exact amount from each other so that there is so that there is no uh, possible spawning space with the torches. Ooh, down here, I should block that off. Is is the water still going down? Yeah? Okay. Uh, that's that's the water for my mob trap. That one little pond fuels my entire mob trap. This is where... Um, I can't remember what I had down there. Anyways, um, across this river, I 
I, Professor Ion, one of the guys that plays on the server, great fun to play with him. If you ever get the chance, please do say hi and, you know, Magic K sent you. Call him a big dummy or something like that. Um, this used to be a jungle. And, uh, one day, I, I used to get pretty bad frame rates on this server because there's grass plains all around, there's jungle here, and I like to play on fancy graphics. So, there's a lot of, um, <clears throat> whatchamadoodle, alpha textures. So, they're harder to render in than just these solid blocks. It does a lot more on your GPU. Uh, like right now I'm getting pretty well 30 FPS. It's really nice, actually. Um, and that would all just slow it down. So I took everything out, flattened it down. This is where I'm planning to put up the mage tower. Not in these mushrooms, but a little ways out. Still have that wall to work on. I think that's where I'm stopping. And then I'm going to continue eating away at the jungle. Because apparently Flower Child made them a lot scarier. So, yeah. I'm going to put the mage tower like right here. So our castle's still in view. But my evil doom of awesome tower will still be near now. Yeah. We got our jungle. So that's about it that I have to show today. Um, sorry if I rambled, but again, you know, I, I'll, I'll do my best. Um, when school time comes around, like next week, I'm getting back on the road again, going up to Alberta, currently in Manitoba. So that's a province and a half over that I got to go at least um, to do a job out there. So I'll definitely try, and uh, yeah. So, if you guys are... Oh, wait, I still have to show the nether. That's half. Still not... Still not even half my base. Very, very developed over here. I like to come on here and just relax and do stuff. Although, lots of times, it's not relaxing. It's frantically, frantically swinging at creepers as they bob in and out of the water, threatening to explode the bottom half of your freaking hard work for, um, man, this guy's scary, um, mob trap. And these are here because those stupidos kept going into the nether. So yeah, in the nether, what do we have in there? Um, pretty developed over there too. Definitely a lot of space. Um, right at the doorway here, we have a full, almost full, only level 2 obsidian beacon. It's still really creepy. Um, and then a minecart track all the way back to the spawn area. But the best part about it all is this was right in the middle of another fortress. So, uh, Catalian and I turned this nether fortress. We went all the way through, flattening the whole thing out. I may die. No, there's a park over my own. So all this is actually spawning space for the wither skeleton. Gotta be very careful right here. Because you can get Oh god, why is that guy running? No, 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 no. Damn it. Ah And yep. Oh, we recently turned on Hardcore Spawn. Ah. Damn it. Oh well. I'll end it here today. So yeah. In the future, I will try to record. Um, nethers are extremely dangerous. Don't go in them, ever. And have a wonderful day. While I punch wood.